Good morning. I'm Trey. And today, we're at the park. Um, you know, I screwed up. I screwed up the other day. My last run, you see. I was like, oh, you know, I hope my... My groin goes numb, you know, like it usually does. And then I ran nearly 17 miles and <laughs> went numb, but I've been having trouble ever since. So, so today, which is a day late because I did like a day of mobility work and then day of strength training and then now we're back out here hoping uh, to get the best out of our leg actually we're just hoping to get uh, a decent workout that doesn't make it worse and also get some substantial miles so I'm here at the park I'm looking to do five loops around everything and I'm thinking you know if it hurts I just wind up power walking everything I'd be here for five and a half hours <laughs> you know but maybe that won't be necessary maybe okay for me just to just to do like a real light jog you know targets like four hours morning and uh yeah yeah so and instead I think wearing the uh the weighted vest <laughs> the uh the water vest that aggravated it extra so today I'm just wearing my little belt with little bottles and uh and then my car is basically parked in the intersection between the three uh between the four uh sorry between anyway it's at like the most convenient spot to stop between each each, each section and uh switch out some water bottles eat a piece of mango to, you know, try and keep my strength and my uh, my energy up. So yeah, we're trying to, we're trying to do this one smart, smart. But five loops around everything be approximately sixteen-ish miles, maybe just short of that, maybe just over that. I'm not too sure. But I mean, if my leg is getting my groin is getting like worse then I might have to stop and rethink what I'm doing and uh, make some adjustments so I can heal properly because though we are excited about this marathon on the 2nd of no, uh, September most importantly or more importantly we're excited about the ultra marathon on November 18th and that's really what we're training for. This marathon is just like a little local marathon to help get me to the level where I can run 45 miles. And uh, not, not, I'm not trying to hurt, hurt myself and break down my body just to, you know, run a marathon that's like a little local marathon, which is cool super cool but the actual goal lays you know beyond that marathon and uh, it requires me to have full use of my legs so so yeah anyway without further ado as we're going to start right here at the yellow i like to do the soccer field then the other side of the park i do red and then blue and green finish and yeah, try five loops around each. So. Uh. 
Let's go. It's not so bad if I just take it real easy. I'm basically power walking, you know, not bouncing uh, and landing on my leg, but kind of gliding from foot to foot. That may just be what I gotta do today. Coming up right where I am now, I can see that the bridge over to the red path is being blocked. So I'm gonna have to revise my plan and do seven loops and three paths. It was a snake. I just crossed my path, a big black one. But as soon as it went down into there, vanished. I tried to get my camera on in time to show you, but it didn't quite work out, unfortunately. That was like literally 10 steps after the snake. That was a turtle. Very cool, very cool.
Oh. I just got finished. Um, I had two hours and 58 minutes. I have 14 point like five something uh, miles. And honestly, the last mile was like 30 minutes. I was cramping up real bad. And uh, my stomach flipped over and I was really struggling there for that last mile. But that's all right, you know? I went to the wall and then I did a mile past the wall and uh, we'll call that a good workout. 14.52 miles at a 12 uh, minute mile, 12 point, 12 minute, 18 seconds. But it would have been, it would have been like a 1030 to 11 per minute mile if it wasn't, wasn't for that last mile. That last mile really threw off my numbers. But uh, yeah, I'll see you in just a moment. All right, I'd say that run went really well. 90% of it went really well. But, you know, I made a mistake. I brought mango to, to eat like a uh, dried sweetened mango. And so I was, I was uh, switching out my bottles, you know, every three miles or so, three or four miles. And I was supposed to be eating a piece of mango, but I got, I got about 13 miles and I started bonking out and I realized that I had not eaten any mango <laughs> the whole, the whole, uh, the whole run. So, boom, and, uh, I ate some, and, you know, almost immediately my stomach flipped, flipped over and went nasty on me, went sideways, so that was no good, and then my water wasn't really digesting anymore, it was just sitting in my stomach, and uh, but then I started cramping and stuff, and both glutes, you know. What can you do? But I would say up to that, you know, and then even after all that, I still, I still managed to do okay. You know, I wasn't, I was, you know, I got, I was started, you know, I was jogging most of it until like the last, I did like, I guess about 13 miles, all that happened. And I still, I still ran like another half a mile before I started like walking, jogging, walking, jogging, walking, jogging, but I would try and jog, but then both my glutes would just like lock up and I was trying to power walk then. And I was, so, you know, I was struggling. I was struggling, but it's all, it's all part of the game. You know, I, I used to struggle like that after nine miles. And I remember I had to start running, you know, 13 miles twice a week, two or three times a week. And then after a few weeks, you know, I was able to, I was able to do that. And now I think I'm having the same problem after 13 miles. I really struggle. And I think for so long I ran 13 mile runs, 13 mile runs. So my body's like, we can do this. What, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Why are we still going? So it's just like a matter of like training the body. But yeah, I think we did pretty good. I got, you know, I was hoping to get, you know, closer to 16 miles, but you know, that would have been a real, a real struggle and I'm not trying to hurt myself. I'm trying to improve even if it's little by little. I think we, we made some small progress today, so I'll take that. Now, uh, Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.